Magic A8 TV empowering you Standing to serve Yes this is uh, the Lions International Convention for 2024 and here we are at Imperial Resort Beach Hotel in Entori Here with me is Dr Stanley K Bowichiri He is the current Yes, he is the current governor, the district governor, 411B, that is Uganda. It is so interesting because when they grade us as in those digits, some of us, especially the viewers, you might not understand, but I want to bring it clearly since we've been talking about 411, we've been talking about digits and maybe you could have not understood, but that is Uganda. So allow me to say that you are welcome on AUT TV and we are live. Good evening. Good evening, Bridget. Okay, nice to have you here. Thank you. Okay, so Lion Dr. Stanley Bubi Chile, District Governor. How has it been in your term of office as the governor? And actually that is still going on. Yes. Yes, this has been a year that I can say has been eventful. Yes. It has been taxing in terms of responsibility. Yes. But in our spirit of lionism, which is about humanitarian states as volunteers, it has also been quite enjoyable, mm -hmm. satisfying, because okay. you get satisfaction when you serve those who are less fortunate than you are. Okay. You talked about the, the term being eventful. So do you mind sharing some of the events that have been going on throughout this term? Thank you very much, Bridget. Yes actually to be on record this is our 21st multiple district convention yes please. that means as a multiple district and i'm going to explain what a multiple district means we have been having these annual events we we'll meet here for about five days every year not here in entire where it's on rotational basis mm -hmm. and when we say multiple district multiple district 411 or 411 is composed of five countries Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Ethiopia, and Seychelles. So that is our district 411. There are so many other districts all over the world, mm. and this is one of them. Okay. Because our international headquarters as Lions Clubs International are in Chicago, the mm. United States, where Lions was formed mm. uh, in 1917 by a gentleman called Melvin Jones. And in Uganda, Lanzum came here in 1959. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, Lanzum in Africa is 71 years. So you can guess when it started. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Now, since it started here in 1959, we have been growing and we have now closed 60 clubs. Mm -hmm. These clubs are scattered in different parts of Uganda. Now, as we continue growing the five countries eventually, the number of clubs became too many that anyone's government could not actually manage the work by this being responsible for all those five countries. Yes, so that led to the creation of what we call sub-districts. And other mm -hmm. districts were created out of District 411. Mm -hmm. And we are now in English, when you become many, then you are married. Oh, so we are called district, multiple district 411. Okay. So it created 411B, which is now Uganda alone. Mm -hmm. We have enough clubs, there is a criteria they follow. Mm -hmm. And then another district 411C, mm -hmm. which is Tanzania. Mm -hmm. Then Kenya, Ethiopia, and Seychelles remained as 411A. Okay. So every year we gather. For all those days, five days, on rotational basis in any one of those five counties. And this year we are privileged as Uganda, which is District 411B, to host mm. the multiple district. So we are actually five counties. That's what I wanted to know. And therefore, mm. we have been meeting for 21 years as a multiple district. This mm. is a great opportunity to mm. have a condition. Our meetings are called a commission. Okay. So when we gather, we come with all the leaders and members. We gather. And in this city of Entebbe, since Wednesday, 
We have gathered more than 600 delegates from all of those five countries, mm -hmm. and we are continuing for another two days. Mm -hmm. So this is just all, like halfway. Okay. And why do we gather? We want we gather so that we review our performance. Mm -hmm. How have we performed? Because our year starts from first July. That means first July 2023. That's when I effectively became a district governor for one one day. And that means because it is a one-year assignment or responsibility, I will be handing over also on 1st of July 2023. So we have been here to review our performance, mm. see the successes and the challenges that we have had so that where we have done very well we maintain that. Where we have made challenges, then we turn them into opportunities so that we can perform better. Okay, so... But but the focus areas of performance we look at mm. are summarized into about eight. Mm -hmm. Care for our eyes, vision. We want to prevent eye diseases and we want to help in the treatment. Then we also want to manage those with complications. We look at the area of hunger, food supply and security. When people are actually hit with hunger, we gather some money and we help those who are hungry, so we feed them. But we also educate them on better food production storage, which is food security. The other area is environmental protection. You know there is a problem of global warming. So mainly this we do as well as through tree planting and educating people about the dangers of destroying our environment. We are also in other areas of health and we target childhood cancer, cancer for the children. There is a reason why we selected childhood cancer as a focus area. Cancers are so many, and we focused, because there are so many we cannot manage. So we focused on children for a simple reason that when you manage and treat a child with cancer, you are going to enable this child to live a little bit much longer and then give value to this, add value to this life. The other area is disaster. Disaster has come. Like in this year, there was a disaster in Masin. So again, gather money. We take food relief. Sometimes, like in Masin, there was destruction of gardens, but there was destruction of homesteads. So we give them home household equipment, which has been washed away by the France. Do you respond to every disaster? Or we respond to where there is a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, especially when there is lost to a lot of property or loss of lives, mm -hmm. but also where there are no other providers of services. Mm -hmm. So we do a needs assessment. Okay. And we are also in the area of youth programs. We do various youth programs, some of them are, are like quest program in schools. Mm -hmm. We want to promote international youth mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. have life skills imparted into the school going youth so that when they grow older, they have this case. Do you also give them some grants, some funding? Where the way we help them is, for example, giving them scholastic materials. Mm -hmm. But life skills are much more important than just scholastic materials. So there are, those are some of the focus areas that we look at. We give career guidance. Some of us have, we have all been at school. We have, some of us are working in government. Others have retired, like myself but we have a lot of experiences. So we give career guidance. So these are some of the areas uh, that we focus on. And uh, when we are now here in a convention like this, reviewing our performance, mm -hmm. we see where we have performed better or not. So where is district, the Malpa district 411B according to, to all that has been considered with oh, other accounts? Okay. Yes. I restrict myself to 411B. Yes, how where different. I'm directly responsible as a district governor. Yes, please. When I was elected as a governor, by the way, we also ask for votes. Mm -hmm. And the lands vote for you. Sometimes there is competition of votes on humanitarian. We are volunteers. Mm -hmm. But when we are all more than two who want to be the leaders, then you are subjected, you must be voted for. Mm -hmm. So when the uh, delegates voted me into leadership, 
it was in Arusha, we were meeting in Arusha last year. Mm. I set up quite a number of goals. I set 14 goals, mm. focusing in all those areas. Mm. Then I put the goals into an action plan. The action plan, as everyone may know, those who have done strategic planning, the action plan indicates what you want to do to operationalize the goals. Mm. And then two, who is going to do what? You give people responsibility. You give it a time frame, and you give it a measure, uh, an indicator for measurement. So we have been actually following the action plan. Different people didn't know what to do. Me as a governor, I knew what to do, but I had a first vice district governor. I had a second vice district governor. Mm -hmm. I appointed the cabinet secretary. I appointed the cabinet treasurer and two sub-treasurers and what I may call region and zone chair. Those are members of the cabinet. Mm -hmm. Uganda was divided into five regions. One region is Southwest Port, region B. Another one, Central Region, is Region A. Then Midwestern Region C. And the North, Greater North Region D. And the Eastern Region, Region A. Each of those five regions has about five zones. So mm -hmm. again, we had uh, 14 zones out of those five regions. Mm -hmm. So each region had a region chair, which is like an assistant governor. And then each zone also had a zone chair. Mm -hmm. This help you too implement the programs as per the action plan. But we also have district officers. For example, there is a district chair and other coordinators responsible for like environment, like disaster, the way I have talked about the focus case. All those make what we call the district government. Has it been as smooth has it been running smoothly I have already challenges? said that it has been satisfied. Okay. And I have reasons smile. Okay. Because eventually I set targets in the action plan. Mm. And I want to say that number one target was to serve at least 1.5 million people in all those focus areas. When we have been reviewing since we started, uh, this is, today is the third day, I've told you we still have two more days. We have realized through our reports, and our reports cannot be formed. Every time you report, it is electronic, so the system really registers everything. We have now realized that we have, out of the target, vis-a-vis -vis the target of 1.5 million people served, in all those focus areas, we have served 2 million 27,008 people That's as a nice. part of the 1st of April when Amazing. we reviewed the system. Mm -hmm. That means by the time we finish on 30th June, mm -hmm. we shall have far exceeded the 2, the 1.5. We shall be like 2.2. Okay. I think that is very good. Okay, and then I also want to say that we had also set some other targets. We raised money through our pockets. Mm. So we had set a target to raise $50,000 from among the stars. I am happy to say that by the 21st of, of, of April, four days ago, our records indicated that we had actually contributed $70,000. But during this meeting today, mm. actually, mm. I moved a motion on the floor mm. that we want more contributions. Mm. And we have got $8,000 to pay. Uh -huh. So, and this is morning. going to continue. Mm. Just this morning when I was giving my report. Mm. But our two million, over two million we have served are in different focus areas vision, hunger, environmental protection, childhood cancer, etc., youth programs. Mm. So, uh, I can also tell you that uh, our mem membership growth is very important. We, we started when we were about 1,800 lands in Uganda. But I want, on the other note, I want to say that we have recruited 460 new lands into our movement, into our association. Mm -hmm. And our target which I had said we are five one. So we are still falling short by forty. I, I am very sure to, uh, by mm -hmm. the time I hand over the forty would have been exceeded. So that we have won the five one. Oh, These are some of numbers. the successes. Yes. Th that's amazing. They are very many achievements. Now on the issue of numbers, yes. I wanted us because they've been highlighting uh, mission one point five. Yes. What does it mean to you? The issue of numbers, is it how is it a very big deal to the to the movement, if I can say, or to the organization? Yes, 1.5 million, mm. uh, what you call a challenge, mm. 
uh, is that Guns uh, International, mm. at Guns International, we are about one point four million people yes. over the world. Yes. And then they said one point five mm. is to make sure that in the next three years, that is by twenty twenty seven, we have increased the lands all over the world from one point four. 1.5. I just want to know how, really, how good is it to you? How is it a big deal? It is the a big, the issue of it, numbers. It is a big deal because we are volunteers. Yes. And the more we are as volunteers, the more hands to serve those less fortunate members okay. in society. Okay. So if we are few, we are definitely limited. Mm. But if we are many, mm. then we serve better. Okay. But you may be many, but you are not of quality. Yes. So as we are recruiting more members to increase mm. from 1.4 to 1.5 million, we want what we call quality members. Mm. So the yeah. extra 100,000 we are looking at all over the world mm. uh, will be contributed by the various clubs in Uganda and different parts of the world. Yeah. In Uganda, we have our targets. We shall be contributing towards the realization of the international goal. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Lion, Dr. Stanley, Buri today. So maybe as we conclude, we want to see what is your plan after July, after thirty-first. Is it thirty? Oh, June. Yes, yes. yes. What is your plan? Lions is a fantastic organization. Once a lion, oh, unless a lion. you pull out, you're always a lion. <laughs> Uh, so number one is that I will continue serving as a volunteer mm. to serving those vulnerable people. Okay. But I also want to tell you that constitutionally, mm. I am going to be what they call immediate past district governor. Okay. The immediate past district governor, the next year, I'm like I'm still like number two in the lineup mm. in our district for one one day. Mm. So I will be the main advisor to the current district governor. I should okay. probably have told you oh. that today we have held elections and the one who has been my first vice has been voted into as the incoming governor. Mm. So from now on what is going to be called the district governor. Another one has been voted into as the but first vice district, district, district governor. Government. And then there was a competitive post, mm. sec the second vice district governor. And there were two people who were contesting and one has come up as a second vice district governor. Mm. So I'll be continuously working with those mm. and other leaders. Then after another year, I'll go into the pool of leaders called past district governors, okay. who continue guiding the district. Mm. With all that wisdom and experience, yes, we say they are called past district governors. And their role is to continuously advise the incoming leaders. Okay. So thank you so much. As we continue to serve, we say that we are here to serve and always serve. That is why he is why he is saying that he will keep with the team, guiding the team, directing the team, so that the mission, the vision is all achieved. Thank you so much. I remain Bridget and Samantha. It has been great having you here. Thank you. You're welcome. And we shall be happy to work with you each and any I other want time. I this opportunity mm. also to invite you, the media who are non learners to join us. Yes, you please. Like you. Okay. Well, we're all always here to serve, so always here to join you as well. Thank you for watching. We are a UDTV.